Hey guys, Ivan here and you are watching the pre-judging of Tampa Pro 2022 Open Division. So as you can see in the first call out, we had these four guys from left to right. It's Quinton Area, Kamal El Gargni, Akim Williams and Phil Klahar. At first Quinton was in the middle, but then he switched places with Akim. And to me, it looks like Akim is winning this show and I do have Kamal in second. In third I have Quinton and in fourth Phil Klahar. We'll see what's gonna happen, but that's how it looks like right now. We're gonna check out the video footage from the live stream and some higher quality photos. So as you can see right here, Akim, he brought decent condition. He wasn't off. He wasn't peeled, shredded like Kamal, but he was on. Also, Kamal was peeled, shredded, but much smaller. And Quinton area, I just don't think he's ready yet to win a pro show. I feel like he still needs to make uh, improvements and come even more conditioned. You're gonna see that in the other poses. Phil Klahar is in top 4, but uh, he has no chance of cracking the top 3. Here is why I believe Akim is winning this show, because he's enormous, he's really freaking big. Look at the side leg, look at the shoulder, look at the arms, look at the chest, he is just much bigger, much fuller, much rounder than Kamal. Quinton is also much bigger, much rounder, much fuller, but he has some gaps, you're gonna see that now in the back poses, so they're gonna hit the back double bicep and take a look at this. So, uh, Quinton's back is kind of shallow, Kamal's back in the back double looks insane, it has so much detail, so he definitely looks the best here. Him and Phil, both Akim and Quinton are not very good in the back double, but in the back lat spread, I think Akim looks the best in the back lat spread, not counting Phil Klahar, because he is not really a contender for top 3. He looks amazing from the back, but from the front, different story. So I'm really mainly concerned with this top 3 here, and as you can see, Quinton in the back lat spread, just like in the back double, uh, he doesn't look very good. No, his back is just uh, not not good enough. He needs to improve that back uh, in the next off season. He improved, he got bigger and everything, but his back is still uh, a bad weak point for him. Now, Akim doesn't have the best back, but in the back lat spread, it looks pretty good. He shows crazy width, he shows really thick glutes and just overall size, he dwarfs Kamal. And Kamal doesn't look very good in the back lat spread, he never did. He has super super low inserted lats. When they are too low inserted like this, they are making his waistline look bigger. There is no V taper, you can't see where the lats are starting, where the waist is. And also it's the lower body in this pose, uh, Kamal's uh, legs, like hamstrings, glutes, even quads feet from behind, compare it to Akim. I think Akim is crushing him in this pose and I think he's winning this show. I wasn't really expecting Akim to look this good, but he brought it, he definitely brought it, I was expecting him to be off, but he brought it, he could be sharper, he was sharper before, but still he looks good here, side tricep very competitive, all of these guys look great, maybe Quinton looks the best, but it's very close, I can't really tell who looks the best in the side tricep, and in the abs and thighs, Kamal is definitely the most shredded here and he's probably showing the deepest separation in the abs, in the quads, but aesthetically I think Quinton overall looks the best because of his V taper, because of his actually X taper, huge sweeping legs, but who has the smallest waist here? It's actually Akim, Akim has the smallest waist. Now his abs are not very good looking, not super symmetrical, but he has a really small waist, good V taper, uh, massive massive legs, but I do have Quinton probably winning this pose, though overall I, I still have Akim winning the show. After all, I mean Akim was top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, he won so many open pro shows, I think he deserves this victory, he was, I think last year he was 9th at the Mr. Olympia, Kamal, yeah, he won the Mr. Olympia in 212, uh, and uh, Quinton has so much potential, but as far as who is winning this show, I think it's Akim, because Akim brought it good enough, I mean, he didn't bring it 100%, but he was probably like 90%, which is plenty, which is more than enough. As you can see in this photo too, he is conditioned, he's definitely conditioned from the back, again his back double, his worst pose probably, but he still looks good, because of his massive glutes, massive legs, massive shoulders and arms, I think he's just too much, too big of a bite 
for Kamal. Kamal is awesome, but Akim is a beast. Akim is a really big guy. Even though Kamal has the angle here, uh, Akim is still look, he, looking bigger. Now, <laughs> Quinton looks like a giant here. I don't think he's actually this big. Yeah, he's a taller guy, but not this big. This is just the angle. And uh, Quinton, so much potential, but just, again, he needs to improve some body parts such as back. And I feel like he needs to get a little bit more conditioned. Maybe it's a maturity thing. If not, we're gonna see in Texas. Maybe that was his plan, to come here at 90% and then nail it down for Texas and uh, win that show. We'll see. When I saw this photo of Hakim, I thought, wow, look at the size of his freaking legs. He has really enormous legs. And I think this is one of the one of the biggest reasons why he's going to win this show, simply because he's a size freak. He's a mass monster. And as Ian Valier says, uh, open is all about size. If you want to be smaller and pretty, they have classic for you. But I'm not saying that Kamal is uh, for classic physique, no, he's a proper bodybuilder, and when I saw this photo, I was like, wow, look at the conditioning, look at the details, I don't know what the judges are seeing in person, but if Kamal is that much more conditioned than Akim, then he might edge him out, I just don't really see it based on all the photos and videos, and I think it's enough, I think we saw enough, I think we can pretty much make a conclusion that Akim is winning this show, but Kamal brought it, I mean his conditioning is definitely not gonna go unnoticed. After this top 4 callout, they had a top 3 callout actually, as I told you guys, they got rid of uh, Phil Klahar, so this is the top 3 for sure, why is Kamal in the middle, does this mean that he is winning now, well no, not necessarily. Right after they did that, they also put Quinton in the middle, these guys are pretty close, I gotta say, but I think they decided who is winner, who is second, and who is third, and I think, again, it's going to be Akeem, Kamal, and then Quinton, I might be wrong, I'm not sure, I'm not watching this live, in person, but based on what I'm seeing right here, that's how I feel it's going to be. I gotta say, Quinton has a bright future ahead of him, if he improves a little bit more, he can be really a great bodybuilder someday, he has all the tools necessary. Obviously, the biggest improvement that he needs to make is going to be the back development. Kamal has a great back, but he's not posing it very well. Look at this. I mean, look at his back last spread. It's funny. Hakim is, Hakim is killing everybody here in this pose. And uh, Quinton, I think he has a good potential to make that back bigger. I don't think he's uh, limited as Hakim structure-wise. I think he can grow that back. He just needs to work it harder for a couple of more years. I believe it's mainly the training thing. So that's about it as far as pre-judging, uh, as you can see here in this more clear, uh, higher quality photo, uh, you can see that these guys uh, look amazing, and you can see uh, what I was telling you, that Akeem brought pretty good conditioning, so with his size, I think he did enough. Now, as far as Roman Fritz, I couldn't even find any photos, because he didn't even make the top 10. It is very unfortunate, because this guy probably works harder than all of these guys in this show, and he just you know, can't do it, he can't get big enough, I'm gonna have to make a separate video about Roman and why he placed so low, I actually don't know where he placed, but when they did the callouts, he was not in the second callout, the first one was top four, the other one was another six guys, and he was not in that mix, not in the top 10, so, you know, that sucks, but it is what it is, anyways, guys, tell me what do you think about who's going to win, do you have a Kim like me, or do you think Kamal actually is going to beat him with uh, conditioning, or do you actually have Quinton beating both of these guys because of his aesthetics, or whatever is on your mind, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding coverage like this, subscribe to my channel, guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.